I just checked into Sandals South Coast in Jamaica, one of my favorite Sandals resorts of all time. I'm in the Dutch village. Uh, they just renamed all of these villages, but still on the map, they still have the old names. So when I get the new names, I'll let you know. But the Dutch village is right on the water. Here, let me, let me show you. Like right there is the ocean. It's 6.20 a.m. So the sun should be coming up in just a minute. But look, this is my lived in room. So this is what it actually looks like after you've been in it for one night. I know everyone else goes in and it's super pristine, looks amazing. All right, so you've got a little seating area over here and table, really nice bed. Uh, entertainment center with drawers, TV, coffee, uh, Jamaican Blue Mountain coffee. This is amazing out here. Soaking tub, privacy curtains. Look at this. This view out here is unbelievable. Right? So the rooms on the bottom floor have these swim outs. So you can swim right out. You can also swim in there if you're not on the bottom floor. Nice. This is the quiet pool. There's a bar. There's a new chicken truck right there. Um, and then right out there is the bar that um, has hammocks. It looks amazing at night. So we'll have to go out there. They're getting the beach ready. This beach, oh my God, this is one of my favorite beaches in Jamaica because nobody's ever on this beach. Yeah, so it's super quiet. It's going to be an amazing day. I don't know if I'm going to partake in the soaking tub. Probably not. But yeah, this room, this is a really nice room. So you, let's see. So you've got a closet right over here. All of my stuff in the closet. A safe, hanger, uh, iron, ironing board, right? Umbrellas, just in case you need the umbrellas. But I don't think we're going to need the umbrellas. Oh, it comes with wine. It's club level, so you have whatever you want to drink. You have a mini bar. They'll stock it up full of stuff for you. And then the bathroom. Oh, so I've got the do not disturb on or housekeeping, which turns a light on outside. I have a lot of fishy friends and a shell. Joel checked me in last night. He calls these mouth cups. And you have two mouth cups. So that's where the mouth cups go. Really nice uh, sink, backlit mirror, vanity mirror. And then you have one of these showers, which I've already used. It's got a really nice, uh, kind of like a rain shower head on there. Really big shower. Yeah, so that's the, the bathroom. I will take you on a tour today. Oh, and it's really nice and cool in here. And if you have USB to plug things in, you've got USB outlets here. And then also on that side of the bed over there where I've got my phone and my watch plugged in. So yeah, I'm gonna have some coffee and then we will go on a tour. So we're gonna just take a walk down to the beach uh, latitudes, which is the bar over the water that I was talking about earlier is straight out here. We'll go, it's not open yet. It's still 6.30 in the morning, but it's nice and quiet. They're just getting the beach ready. The sun should be coming up and oh, look at the overwater of the bungalows. These are the overwater bungalows. Those are amazing. And hopefully later today, if one of them is available, I'll go in and uh, get some video and photos. They are spectacular. This is Latitudes. This is the bar that is over the water. They have hammocks. Oh, look, they put little cushions in the hammocks. That's better because trying to get out of those hammocks 
even when you haven't had anything to drink, is really difficult. So that's interesting, yeah. They're getting the beach ready this morning. We've got all these little like cabanas out here. This beach is awesome out here. This is one of my favorite beaches because nobody is ever on this beach. So it's almost, this resort is in Jamaica. It's uh, Sandals South Coast. And it used to be called White House because I think it's the parish name. And I was here way back when, when it was White House. Oh, if you have a butler, this is a nice thing about having a butler. They will come and reserve like either a place by the pool or one of these for you. So you don't have to wake up at six in the morning and go get your spot. So if you just want to just kind of walk out and relax. Now this beach, look how calm and beautiful the water is out here on this beach. Yeah, it's, this is going to be a beautiful morning. And this water, when the sun hits it, it has these beautiful blue colors, beautiful greens. Swim Up Bar is right over here. This is the new chicken truck, which I'm going to have to try this week. So this bar is right, you can swim up on one side or just walk up and order here. So I have one of these rooms, like right up here. They have these uh, soaking tubs outside. They do have privacy curtains. Years ago, they did not have privacy curtains for just a, maybe a month or so. And then the privacy curtains appeared. So yeah, there's the Dutch village. Landscaping around here is always amazing and beautiful. So chicken dippers. So this just opened. So we will have to give it a try. These food trucks are super popular at the uh, different sandals and beaches resorts. Now the jerk, oh look at this tree. I mean, that tree looks amazing. Look how cool that tree is. Oh, that's like the perfect spot. Look, you're just sitting there. You got the tree right there. Look at this, look at this view. It is so peaceful and quiet. They have an over the water wedding chapel. It's, it's down in that direction. So we'll head over there. It's a perfect spot for a wedding. Wow, that view is spectacular. So, all right, let's keep going down this way. So I love these pools. So that's where you can swim up right over here. Hot tub nice hot tub and these floaties they have these great little floaties so you get a drink you get one of these blue floaties that says sandals on it and you are set for the day all right so the swim out suites these are awesome so you have just right off your room you have this little like cove and then you have lounge chairs it's beautiful so yeah, swim out suites. We got a really nice area out here with lounge chairs as well. But yeah, come, waking up early in the morning, if you wake up, come on out, take a walk around your resort, either at Sandals or Beaches, because it's absolutely spectacular. All right, so we're at the Italian village now. They have peacocks. I believe they have 23 peacocks. There's four of them right here. So at night, wow, they're loud, but you don't hear them in the rooms. But if you're outside walking around or at dinner, the peacocks at night are pretty loud. Yeah, so there they are, peacocks. They're uh, coming out for a morning stroll. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm sure we'll see more of the peacocks as we're walking around. Oh, here's the wedding chapel. So if you want to do a destination wedding, sandals is pretty amazing. Or beaches, if you have kids that are going to the wedding, pretty amazing deals like much less expensive 
than doing a stateside wedding. I mean, they have wedding packages that start at like $1,000 for up to 10 guests. And I've got some videos on those as well, but this is one of the wedding chapels that they have. Now the wedding chapels, of course, are extra, but they're actually really reasonable. So this is kind of the walk up wedding view. You have these kind of gazebos that they decorate for the wedding also. And you have this nice long walk from the Italian village. You can get a massage right there. Right there, they've got massage chairs set up. These cabanas look amazing. Yeah, so right through here. This is the, this is your walk up view to the wedding chapel. And that little spot out there looks spectacular. So, yeah, here's the walk. This is a long walk. Now they do this up, they do, what is it? Chiffon back chairs and flowers, and they do this spectacular uh, setup for the wedding. So it's not set up right now. So it's probably just empty. But you kind of, oh, look, and they have the glass floor. So they have the glass floor with the fish because you're like literally over the water. I mean, that's a pretty spectacular setup. So that's, yeah, right there. And then they have the glass floor. I mean, and so the back of the wedding chapel, it looks like these open up too. So those open up and they move out of the way. So you have the wedding going on and then this is the view with the sunrise or the sunset right behind you. Look how calm the water is too. It is unbelievable. It is so peaceful out here. This part of Jamaica, it takes an hour and a half to get here, but it is spectacular out here. So the car ride goes kind of through the rainforest over the mountain and it is just amazing. And then you end up out here and nobody is ever on this beach because it is kind of its own little cove area. So unlike the famous Seven Mile Beach, which is in Negril, where there's a Sandals Negril and a Beaches Negril, uh, this beach doesn't really have people on it, like vendors or other resorts. Um, yeah, it's just kind of quiet and secluded. And I'll be at Sandals Negril uh, in a couple days, so we'll do a video from there, so you can watch there. There's the water sports way over there, or the water sports, so they have the Hobie Cats and the paddle boards and all kinds of things. They have a dock over there, they can do a uh, Scuba diving included, snorkeling is included. Um, it's all inclusive, so pretty much everything's included. They're getting the beach ready this morning, early in the morning, so when everybody else is up, unlike me who's up super early, uh, when everyone else is up, it'll be perfect. There's only one set of footsteps out here so far. I, I hate to walk on this and mess up his perfectly raked beach so it looks so good. These cabanas, they get set up also. A little table, a little bed, some lounge chairs, some privacy curtains. They're getting those set up this morning also and ready. You can have a massage out here if you want, right there. That's a nice little setup for a massage. They have lots of little swimming pools too which is always nice. So if you don't like the big uh, party pool with all the people and the music and everything going on, they have these quiet pools. Disney does this too at a lot of their luxury resorts because they have these areas with more quiet pools. So over here is one of these smaller pools in the Italian village. 
So yeah, right there, tiny, just enough. Put some lounge chairs over there. And then you've got this beautiful beachside view. So we're gonna walk down. I see another food truck. I'm not sure what this one is. Oh, the jerk shack is over here. This is my favorite thing. Like Jamaican jerk chicken is spectacular. This is where I usually go for lunch. They have jerk chicken, jerk pork. They have a fish. They have festival. Um, yeah, so the jerk shack is right here. So I will be here later and I will get you all some jerk chicken and some jerk pork and some festival. And they usually have like a sweet potato. So yeah, jerk shack. I want to check out this food truck and see what that is. It might be, oh, it's a taco truck. He was telling me about the taco truck. So we're gonna have to try the taco truck. When I checked in, they said, you gotta try the new taco truck. So yeah, this is gonna be the jerk shack. When it opens up, look at that little cabana out there. That is perfect, my friend. That is amazing. And here's your jerk shack. It is so peaceful and quiet. We got some cabanas over here. Here, we'll walk up this way. This is a perfect place to read a book, relax, grab one of these hammocks, or play some volleyball. So I was telling you about all the things that are included and that you can rent uh, here for free over at Sandals. Oh, they have uh, water skiing. So some of the Sandals resorts have water skiing and this is one of them. So they have water skiing and like boogie boards. You have windsurfing. There's all your water skis. Hobie cats. If you don't want to take the Hobie cat out yourself, they will take you out on it. So the instructors will take you out, which I have done before with my family, and it's really nice. All the little birds, the sandpipers, are coming to see us. Uh, they're coming up for breakfast, I guess. Where are they going? They're coming over. So yeah. I don't have any breakfast. I am so sorry. They came all the way over here. I haven't even had breakfast. So life jackets, uh, kayaks, and more sailboats. So this is the giant, this is the main pool. Let me see if I can go over here and show you the main pool over here. Oh my gosh, sushi. So I was recently at Sandals Exuma, which used to be a Four Seasons over in the Bahamas about two weeks ago. And I had sushi there at Soy, and it was amazing. So I'm gonna have to try sushi here as well. Nice outdoor patio seating area. This is the main pool. This looks pretty awesome too. So this is where you'll have music and activities going on. You'll have a livelier swim up bar. So here's your swim. Oh, there's a bird right here. You haven't, so there he goes. So yeah, swim up bar is right here. Beach is right back there. You have this kind of European village setting. All right, so you can see if you have a butler, they will reserve, like I said, right? All of these places for you. So a lot of people get butler service. And that's definitely one of the advantages. They will also bring out a cooler with your favorite beverages in it. Uh, we had a butler at Turks and Caicos, which is a beaches resort for the family. And at beaches, so you can have kids at beaches. Sandals is only for couples. So we did have a butler at beaches at Turks and Caicos, and they would reserve a cabana for us every morning. And they would bring a cooler out and towels and, you know, bring our sunscreen and everything out. And then at lunch, they would come by and take our lunch order. So that was really nice and bring us lunch. So we kind of camped out at this cabana, which is something I usually don't do, but it was so much fun. 
So yeah, this is the pool. It looks amazing. So if you don't have a butler, see how they're setting up over there on the other side of the pool? Yeah, if you don't have a butler, you need to get her early and grab a spot so you can go ahead and reserve your, your place. See, there's a couple, a couple good spots still open, but it's almost seven. So you gotta get out here by four, eight, I would guess to get your spot at the pool or the beach. There's a nightclub up here. Tonight there's karaoke uh, up there. Last night I think there was a disco they set up there, but I got in late and I was like, I'm going to bed. This little plaza area is really nice. Lots of cats. Oh, Bayside. So Bayside is over here. So this is the buffet restaurant. So I might go here for breakfast and have a little breakfast buffet. Neptune's is back over there. Seafood and steak, really good restaurant also. Really good photo spot right here. Another European vibe with the fountain. Yeah. So this resort is sold out. Joel, who checked me in last night, told me, Joel, so when Joel checked me in last night, he was like, I was like, how many rooms are available? He's like, we're sold out. Now, the French village is being remodeled, and it opens in about one to two weeks. So I'm going to see if I can get in there to see a room. It is almost done. The rooms on the top floor, he said, are in testing. So they're going through those rooms. Um, so that one is completely redone. So that takes about 110 rooms out of inventory. So the rest of the rooms are sold out. I don't know the exact number. I would guess maybe 350, I could be wrong. I will put it in the comments or the description how many actual rooms are here. But yeah, it's amazing because these resorts are so large that even when they're sold out, you don't even, you don't even notice it. You don't even feel it because they're so spread out. There's so many places to eat. I think they said they have 11 dining options here now with some new food trucks and things in. So yeah, it's amazing. All right, so we're gonna go get a coffee to start our morning, which is over here. This little uh, Parisian cafe. All right, so here it is, Cafe de Paris. So they have coffees, pastries, ice cream. So we'll go give it a try. my coffee over at Cafe de Paris, a little cappuccino. We're going to take you on a rest of the tour here of the grounds. So this is the main kind of check-in area. Oh, look at the peacock over there. Does he have his feathers out? Oh, look at this, look at this. If we can get, oh yeah, he does. Hold on. We'll see if we can see the peacock with the feathers. I've never seen one with the feathers out. They always have their feathers put a, oh, look at that. I don't want to get into the middle of something here. Oh, come here. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know how friendly peacocks are, but they are pretty. Yeah, I don't have any food. I just have a cappuccino. You guys probably don't want a cappuccino. Nope, that's not food either, I don't think. I think that's a leaf. Yeah, I saw the feathers. The feathers looked amazing. I wonder if I can find a peacock feather for later. All right, yeah, they finally figured out that I don't have food. But yeah, they're, peacocks are really pretty. Up oh, now you do it. I get ready to leave, you turn the other way, you do the feathers thing, it's impossible. There we go, maybe. There we go, that looks amazing. Yeah, good job, perfect. Look, he's posing, look. So there you go, peacock and sandals. Yeah, you look good too, you do. There we go, so yeah. 
perfect. So yeah, when I first checked in this morning, I want, my room is down that path right over there. The main swimming pool is out back over there. I had uh, dinner on this little patio last night and a little cocktail reception kind of back over here, uh, which was really nice because we got to eat outside. And then when you first check in, they drop you off. What is that? Oh my gosh, that's a moth. Oh, there they are. See, see? They're really loud. So the peacocks, similar to the roosters of the Caribbean. They kind of, but although they don't wake you up because you don't hear them. So, yeah, I love all the floral and fauna, all the ginger out here. It looks absolutely amazing. I wish my backyard looked like this. All right, so let me take you into the lobby. So when you first check in, this is where they're going to drop you off. So here's this spectacular lobby area. It's nice and air conditioned. It is. So they have all the seating over here. You have your front desk across the way. Um, they check you in, they give you a welcome drink. They give you a nice cold towel when you get off of your hour and a half uh, ride from Montego Bay Airport. And then you are in this spectacular lobby and then they walk you to the room. So this is where you first come in. Right here is where they drop you off. Even the grounds out here in the front are spectacular. There's a fountain over there. And this is where the drop you off and pick you up in the morning. I don't know. I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I like the Greek statues thing. That's the only thing about this resort. And they're not everywhere. They're just kind of sporadic. So let's go back out. So yeah, you first arrive and you get this amazing view. You have this giant fountain right up front. And there it is. Oh, the sun is out. Sunrise. So yeah, the sun is out now. So it's going to be great. I'll have to get the drone out later and take some aerial photos of everything for you. Look, now the peacock is just showing off. Yeah, I know. You look amazing. You do. You look amazing. I know. And you're never going to, you're going to always turn the other way. Look at that. You look spectacular, you do. You look really good, good job. The welcoming committee, yep. You look good. Those, what are they, talons, talons? Those claws look pretty fierce. So we will walk away from the peacock while we're still in one piece. Oh look, they're redoing the little garden up here. They have a fitness center, but they're <coughs> They're, re they're remodeling it. There. Yep. Oh, shot, and they have shopping over here. I forgot. They have a couple of shops over here. So if you left something at home, like sunscreen or you need a new bathing suit, they do have a couple shops right over here. So later in the day you need to get your Jamaican swimsuit on they have that here for you too photography studio they do amazing jobs with photography you can do a little um, dining or dinner on the beach and they have these little setups so you can have dinner on the beach yeah and then they have a jewelry store all right, so I think that's gonna wrap it up for the tour. Oh, the Red Lane Spa is over here. So each sandals, I keep thinking like the tour's over and then I walk into something else. So the Red Lane Spa, 
which will be open later today, is right here. You can always use the spa facilities, like usually they have a steam room and a sauna and like a cold plunge and kind of a lounge area. And those are open to everybody. So those are usually just right on the other side. Oh, you're following, they're following me. You're following, okay, okay. Oh my gosh, okay. We just saw you. Why are you following us? Are you gonna show us around? All right, we'll follow, we'll follow you. You know the place better than I do. All right, so we'll just follow the peacock and see where, where we go. I think we're going this way, down here. To, so the Italian village is over there on the left. And we will follow the peak. Hold up, come on, I can't go this so fast. Slow down. All right, so Italian village is on the left. The peacock is walking us up to the, oh, it's the, uh, what is it? It's like the Club Sandals Elite Lounge. So there's a lounge over here, if you're club level, where they'll do dining reservations for you. It's straight ahead. Peacock is going to take us there. Slow down. I'm not as fast as you. So yeah, Club Sandals. So it's right up here. So they will do dining for you and uh, kind of any questions you have or book things for you. Yeah, your friends over there. And then the Dutch village is right over there. That's where my room is. And then the French village is back behind these trees and that's the village that is being remodeled and is uh, almost done. So, all right, bye-bye, thank you. So yeah, tennis courts are back over there too. Croquet, shuffleboard is over here. There's your club sandals. Usually have refreshments in there, drinks, coffee, and all that as well. A lot of really perfect photo spots over here. I love these palm trees where the palms are like perfectly aligned left to right. I remember those from last time I was here. And I was like, if I could grow those in Georgia, they would be perfect. So yeah. So I think that's gonna wrap it up. That's our tour of Sandals South Coast. If you want more information about Sandals South Coast, uh, just go ahead and leave a comment. I will put links in the description too for the latest deals. Um, there's always good deals over here at Sandals South Coast. Although this time of year, man, it's crazy. It's that it's been sold out because it's super popular now. So yeah, go to the description or leave a comment. Happy to help you out with any questions you have. You know what? I said I was ending the video and then I came back to the room. I think I lied because look at this, look at this view. And look at the sun is out now. Look, look how amazing this is. Oh my gosh. The sun is peeking out around the building over there. They're getting the pool chairs lined up. The beach looks amazing. There's just a few little puffy white clouds in the sky. And in case you don't know where I'm at, I'm at Sandals South Coast. I'm in the Dutch village, which is literally this far from the beach. The beach is right there. Look how calm the water is too. And if you want some chicken, the, tr the chicken truck is right there. So yeah, I might have to go back out and shoot some more video for everybody because it looks amazing out. It's gonna be a beautiful day. Tonight, I wanna go out there, Latitudes, the over the water bar, and it's lit up at night so all the fish swim around bartender right there and hammocks all the way around there's hammocks all the way around so beautiful so this is going to be the french village it opens up in about a week so they they will definitely get the pools ready they will get the rooms ready they're still putting the furniture in they're still doing the landscaping i'm going to try to get over there today if i can because these rooms up top supposedly are in testing so those are ready. Yeah, I can see the, you can see a couch up there. Um, the soaking tubs are there. 
So we will head over there. Right now I'm in the Dutch village up on the third floor. So you can see the French village one more week. They got a little more landscaping to do and then it will be ready. And it is going to be amazing.